Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. It's been a bit of a slow morning for me today. I've um, well we've been sorting builders out there, basically putting the steels into our extension at the minute and it's all a bit chaotic, but I thought I would just um, take this morning to sort them out, get on with a bit of work. I've made myself a, this one of the M&S tea bags, the spiced apple, delicious, really, really love it. Taking Barney for a nice long walk. It is so sunny outside today, completely bright blue skies. It is gorgeous. When um, Tom and I went on a walk, we were saying how when the weather's like this in the UK in autumn, it is just so nice. I mean, he is a sun worshiper. I actually quite like the rain, but if the sun's out, he's happy and it makes for a good day. So yeah, it is a lovely day. However, getting a bit cabin fever, I thought I would um, pop out at some point today and um yeah now's the time to do so i'm just going to finish this first but i want to I had to be an m today so i figured i'd bring you guys with me there's quite a lot on my list of things i want to get so i will be doing a haul when i get back home and um yeah be prepared for some festive content because i am going to sneak a peek down the christmas aisles because i could i mean i've popped in and I was gonna say they've got a taster of Christmas. They've got it all out. It's all there. It is a full blown Christmas at B&M at the moment. So autumn has been and gone for B&M at least anyway. Um, but yeah, before I head out, I wanted to firstly kindly thank today's video sponsor, Readly. If you are new to my channel, you may not have heard me talk about Readly before, but I am a long time user of Readly. It's an app that you can download. And if it's something that you've been thinking about getting, then now is the time to do so because I have a brilliant offer for you guys to be able to download it via my unique link, which I'll leave in the description box below. And if you download the app via that link, you get the first two months free. It's cancel any time thereafter. So you can always try it out and decide whether or not it's for you. And if it's not, it is cancel any time. If it is something that you want to continue on, then it is only $9.99 a month after that. And it is an app that grants you access to over 7,000 amazing, well-known magazines, newspapers. If like me, you enjoy a cup of tea or coffee with a magazine, with a read, whether or not you just want a catch up of what's going on in current affairs or whether or not you want to learn a new hobby, find a new recipe. They also have archived copies that you can go back and have a look through. You can also bookmark and save certain pages. So for instance, recipes is a great one to bookmark and save those, especially as we lead in to the Christmas months. If there's anything that you're spotting in those foodie magazines that you think, yep, I'll do that when hosting Christmas this year, then you can bookmark it to save it and come back to it when you're nearer the time. You can get access on up to five different devices as well. So for in your household, for instance, for us, I personally like to use Readly on my phone, whereas Tom would prefer his maybe iPad, his iPad Pro that he's got. So yeah, it's suitable for all the family. And a final aspect that I love as well is that you can download for offline reading. So if you travel quite a bit and you need to um, have something to entertain you on your travels, it's really a great app, an amazing offer for you guys to take advantage of for that two months completely free of charge i'll leave that link in the description box below that's all you need to do is just click on that now time to sip up in my sweater weather mug do you guys like this it's from a small business on instagram called american treasures uk i think is their handle i'm going to finish off my tea now head to b and i'll see you guys when we get there and then head back to show you anything that i pick up not anything, let me rephrase that, everything that I pick up.
So I'm back now. Um, there is a little bit of banging going on. Can you hear that? <laughs> the filters are busy um, cracking on with work on the house, which is good because all work means progress, which is good. But I've just got my ring light set up. I'm gonna sit down now and share with you the bits that I did pick up. It ended up being quite a big haul, I'm not gonna lie. So yet again, just a reminder, if you haven't already, to get yourselves a nice cozy drink and the snacks and light your candles. Let's get cozy and let me show you everything that I picked up. So the first item that I got, again, is something that I had seen online on their Instagram. It is this gorgeous cushion, definitely one that I can put out now. It's not like just a Christmassy thing, this. It's actually quite nice for autumn with the brown colors. Just says snug and cozy in this kind of teddy um, borg material. And this bit is like a velvet, so it's super, super cozy i think i might pop this on one of the bean bags down in the cinema room it was 10 pounds this was another thing that i had my eyes on and wanted to get and didn't want to miss out four pack of how long are these one and a half meter rolls and then two packs of five meter of ribbons with the eight tags as well i really love this green ribbon here so this one in particular is the one that i love it's like a christmasy scene um, and then these are just good generic ones. I suppose the star one in the rose gold could be good like for birthdays as well. So I picked this one up for six pounds. I also picked up this roll of wrapping paper. This one is longer at 10 meters. So this will be a good like bulk out one. I like the fact that it's predominantly brown again with greens in there. I feel like my theme is very much gonna be brown paper gift wrap with green ribbon along with those kind of like white and brown Christmassy scenes. But yeah, £1.50 this one was. I also got my Christmas cards. There's only 20 in this, so I may end up buying some more Christmas cards, but this one was £2.50, and again is kind of themed with that Christmas scene, color type images. Love this one, I think of the two, that's my favorite, just like a little car driving home for Christmas, and then this family. I'd have preferred if they were blonde, because then it would have, with a dog. <laughs> I was gonna say, because then it would have fit with our family. We don't have a little girl, but I just love them nonetheless. I think that's so cute. And then I also picked up some tissue paper. This was two pounds. And then I got this at four pounds. It is a five pack of different ribbons. Again, that green I love, the jute, the plain jute, the Christmas trees. Oh no, it stars that one. Um, a little polka dot and some more jute at the bottom. Just a good generic one. This one's my favorite though. And then this one matches the 10 meter roll of wrapping paper that I got. This one is one pound. And then I also got a three pack of gift um, bags with that same one, but in a smaller size. These ones were two pound for the three. And then you've got the Christmas tree one. And then again, that Christmassy kind of scene um, that I like in that first wrapping paper there. When I was shopping, a lady came up to me, clearly seeing that I had Christmas wrap and she was carrying a load too. And she was like, are we crazy? And I was like, yep, but if you're doing it, I'm doing it. There's other people doing it too, so we've got to get in there early. I got another gift bag. This one was 90p in a bottle bag, again, with that Christmas scene. And then I got this pack of gift bow and ribbon set for £2.50, again, with this beautiful forest green that I'm a big fan of. And then for cousins and nieces and stuff, we've got um, these little stickers. I find like if we get more gifts for kids, then it's quite nice to have little stickers on each gift so that we don't get mixed up. But £1.50 for this pack. There are 100 stickers in here. So again, this is great for if you are needing to buy for your kids or you've got loads of people that you tend to buy for. It's just good to help keep everything organized. My mum, when we were growing up, always had like a theme of stickers whereby one particular color or design was for one child and the other colored sticker or design was for the other child so that she didn't even need to write individually on them. Um, and we could just see that pile or those bits under the tree were for me or for my brother or for mum or dad or whatever. It's just nice and easy to um, keep everything organized. And then I think this is the last of the gift wrap. I got this set of 40 gift tags at one pound. Again, with that same theme. I just absolutely love it. I feel like you would see this in like John Lewis, White Company, this kind of style. 
and it's so affordable at B&M. B&M is the place to go for gift wrap this year. And then moving on, I also got this, a 36 pack of paper baking cases, just these little cupcake cases for two pounds. These ones could be used at any time of the year, but these little festive ones could be fun for some festive baking. I got this pack of chocolate molds for two pound in the Christmas tree shape. There was another shape as well. I can't remember what it is now, but it was different. And I actually thought this would be good, not necessarily for making little chocolates with, but if you were hosting a Christmas dinner to melt down some butter, pop it in this, this mold, freeze it for a sec, and then bring it out onto the table. And so that if like you're, like I said, serving and hosting for Christmas, to have a little dish of butter for you to choose from and they're in the little Christmas tree shapes. Is that not cute or is that a bit crazy to go overboard? We're watching Desperate Housewives at the minute, like just catching up on old episodes and it just makes me think of Brie Van der Kamp. But I just love that. Also, if you are hosting this year for Christmas, I thought these would be good down the center of the table or you could buy more and have them as individual placemats. Just um, a set of two star woven placemats at six pound. So yeah, like I say, you get two. Um, so I thought more down the center, they'd be quite good as like statement placemats for um, sharing dishes in the middle of the table. What do you guys think? I think they are, I can't say adorable because I've used that word too many times. They're perfect for Christmas. Just dive down to the bottom of the bag and found two more gift wrap things. Firstly, this ribbon, this Christmas ribbon, they do actually have an offer three for five pounds, which I probably should have gone for but this is the only design that I wanted to pick up so um it's two pounds each so I decided to just get the the one it just says season's greetings and then also last but not least for gift wrap I got this for three pounds and it is a faux fur bottle bag obviously this doesn't have to be gift wrap you can have this for yourself but I just think it's such a lovely way to gift someone a bottle of something if you can see the image there, I just think that is so much nicer than a bottle bag. So yeah, if you've got a special someone that you want to buy a bottle of something for, then maybe to pop it in one of these and then obviously they can keep this and, and reuse it. I did even get some Christmas decorations for the tree. So firstly this, which is from the Divine Sparkle range at three pounds. It is a hanging heart and my theme for my tree is always very much kind of champagne gold with bits of silver and bits of like antique brass so it's kind of a mixed metal look it's not all silver or all very gold it's a bit of a mixture of the two I think white company very minimal and understated but um you know no t tinsel and too much zhuzhing just very simple individual baubles and decorations that I thought this would be a nice addition to my collection. So I picked that one up, thought three pounds was good for that. And then I picked up this set of three from the Nordic Ice range, three beaded tree decorations. So again, they're these cushioned beaded decorations and we've got two Christmas trees and a star. I kind of wish they would have been three different shapes but never mind. I did pick up one yummy treat because B&M is the place to go for the best treat selection. So I couldn't resist this one, Milky Bar Cookies. This one's from Australia. That's I think why they're so good at snacks is because they import loads from like Australia and America. So they get all the flavors that we don't get here in the UK. A couple of seasonal um, cleaning products now. And firstly from Airwick, I got this um refill pack of warm apple crumble scented i was gonna say flavored then <laughs> definitely not flavored scented um airwick plugins and then i also did get one plug-in um with the scent of cozy winter nights which i thought sounded so nice and then i also picked up a fairy washing up liquid and i got this in the new mrs hinch Christmassy festive scent of eucalyptus. And then I got a 1001 carpet fresh. I usually go for the pet one for downstairs. However, upstairs, Bonnie doesn't really come upstairs. So I can use anyone up here really. And I decided to get this scent, which I don't think I've ever had before. It's in vanilla, bean and cedar wood. And then the last couple of items now are for the dog, for Barney. And I got him some seasonal treats. These wag treats are just so easy. They're so affordable as well to just like have on walks and things. I got this 
flavour Christmas pudding and turkey stuffing and gravy. And then this one was actually from the Christmas section, like the Christmas aisle where they've got loads of gifts. They've got a whole section for pet owners. For cat owners and dog owners, they've got so many like festive kind of gift ideas, stocking filler ideas. And um, within that section, I did notice this reusable tote bag in, um, it's like just plain beige handled canvas material with loads of different dogs on it. And I thought this would just be a handy bag to have for like in the car for all of his like dog stuff to just have it there. So £3.50 that one was. And that's everything I picked up. I definitely want to head back nearer to Christmas to do more of like a gift shopping and take you down the Christmas aisles for all the gift ideas because they have so many this year as they do every year. They have got a couple of like repeat things, you know, they've got the themed Xbox, PlayStation, Harry Potter, all of the themed gifts. But I will take you guys shopping with me closer to Christmas to give you some gift ideas. May even do B&M gift guide or something like that. Let me know. But gift guide week is actually coming very, very soon. I'm going to do it the first week of November. As soon as Halloween is done, I'm going to have um, lots of, I think I'm going to do five videos that week of different gift guides. So stay tuned for that. If you want some gift ideas for shopping for Christmas gifts this year, that is coming very, very soon. The aftermath of filming haul, I've just popped these bits back away in their bags. I have to say, I think this is my favorite purchase from today. This, and I do like my snug and cozy cushion, and these actually, oh, I can't decide, but these, they're just giving me white company vibes. I actually love these. But that is everything that I picked up from B&M. Let me know which were your favorites that I picked up. I'm definitely going to be heading back to B&M very, very soon. I want to do some kind of Christmas gift ideas video. I don't know whether I'm gonna do it as like a haul and actually go out and buy some bits to do like in a gift guide video or whether or not I take you guys and show you everything that's in store. Let me know which would you prefer or maybe a combination of the two. Kind of like steered away from the Christmas gifting section today. So I will be doing that again, maybe in November. November is gonna be my Christmas is here content. So stay tuned for that. I have gift guides coming for the full week of the first week of November very exciting. Until then, it's just a little taste of Christmas here and there. I still feel like we're very much in autumn and autumn is my favorite time of the year. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not rushing into Christmas too soon. Just a little taste of here and there. But um, anyway, I just wanted to thank you for watching today's video and also thank Readly for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to take advantage of that first two months of the app completely free of charge and cancel anytime thereafter. I'll leave my link in the description box, which is what gets you that offer. Um, and yeah, thanks to them for working with me on today's video. Thanks to you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.